beautiful collectors and action figure fans, it's the one and only off the bottom is coming at you with another video review. And no, today we're not going to be looking at one of these little bastards. I'm sorry, I pretty much reviewed everything that has been released, and I've been sitting on these guys for a little while, and I was thinking, you know what? Tell what people think. This probably isn't going to get hardly any views, but personally, I love the look of this figure, and I apparently love listening to my own voice. So yeah, I'm going to do a video on it. This is the new Mattel Amber Collection Velociraptor Blue. Now I took a look at the original Velociraptor, and this one is basically just a repaint, but I mean, aren't we all just kind of repaints? We all basically look the same, just like Velociraptors probably all look basically the same, except for slight variations to their color. Packaging wise, you got a really cool amber sort of look there in the background, as if he's trapped in amber. Open window, fully showcasing the figure. You got the Jurassic logo up there. Velociraptor blue. Rawr. Coming on the side, Jurassic World. I know we're going to be getting an amber collection of Nedry and the Dilophosaurus. I wonder if they're going to change that logo to be the regular Jurassic Park logo. That'd be interesting. Uh, top section, you can see a bunch of different cracks and stuff. And then in the background are like little bone images of dinosaurs coming around to the back. And it says, named for her unique colored markings blue is the last of her pack left on isla nublar not only do her size and intellect set her apart but her ability to experience empathy enables her to develop a close connection with owen grady so much so that she risks her life in order to protect him from harm then you got an image of her right there i absolutely love blue as a character and can't wait to see what develops with her but for the packaging that's about it so without further ado let's get her out here and see how cool she actually is and here we have blue opened up and out of her packaging if you made it this far into the video thanks i really appreciate it uh, taking a look first at her accessories uh, all she comes with is this display base you can see it's done up in a textured yellow plastic it is see-through so you can uh sear through it but it's done up to look like a chunk of amber of sorts you got the uh, the jurassic world or park whatever logo right down there which looks nice and then you got this clear stand that can rotate when you plug it in it comes in two separate pieces it's hard to i know i don't know if i want to try taking it out but uh this comes in actual clamshell this is a part of the background so you have to put this together but you have the rotation it has a hinge right here then it's got a hinge right there and then i guess you can when you plug it in you can kind of rotate her around in that but that comes around here now people have joked about this and i i I can't disagree entirely, but uh, kind of when you plug it in there, kind of looks like she's peeing. Just a, a stream of pee, especially with the... <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but uh, I do kind of wish that this was longer just for some more dynamic poses or at least give us a longer one that we could use, but you have that. As for the figure, uh, absolutely spectacular the detail on this is amazing much like that original raptor that i took a look at some time ago it is the same mold the only thing that's really different would be the, the paint detail obviously the color is this more greenish gray and then you have her very iconic blue stripe that goes down from uh, just behind the eyes oh no it kind of covers the whole eyes i thought that well that side it doesn't uh, that side it does cover the whole eye but you see it goes all the way down uh, through the neck down through the torso so all the way down to uh, basically the tip of the tail, which is fantastic. Great texture detail on here as well. Coming in to take a closer look, you can see a lot of really nice sculpted in detail throughout it where it just gives a little bit of a pebbling effect. Of course, you got the slight variation with the paint with some darker and lighter greenish gray bits throughout the entire thing. Gorgeous detail in the face. I mean, there's a lot of personality in blue. And I think that they really captured it here in terms of the action figure. Gorgeous gold eyes right there. Like you could see, you got the blue section here kind of surrounding this eye, whereas the other side doesn't have that. So that's nice that it's not uh, symmetrical. Taking a look, uh, all the strips down here almost look like they are when you look at the paint uh, from one side to the other. So it's nice that at least up here, it does get a little bit different. You can see you can open her mouth. One thing that I've noticed is that her lower jaw 
is fairly loose. Uh, it's not terrible, but I wish that that was a little bit tighter. I might be able to uh, fix that. Great detail with the inside of her mouth. You can see you got that weird tendon right there, but yeah, that's definitely um, floppy right there. That, that I'll probably have to work on. But you got the uh, throat detail, which there, which looks really nice. A yellowish teeth, nice uh, glossy paint used on the inside of her mouth to give that kind of wet look. But again, great detail on here. Uh, all the Raptors are basically the same sculpt. And honestly, I don't remember which one it was. One of them, I want to say it was Echo, I think. Pretty sure it was Echo. Uh, the, the story goes that Echo in blue kind of got into it at a very young age to kind of determine who would be uh, in charge. And Echo got a pretty gnarly gash along the side of her head. So in terms of uh, re-releasing figures, obviously Charlie's gonna be the same, Delta's pretty much gonna be the same. The only one that would really need to have a slight mold difference um, would be uh, Echo. And you could probably just change that by uh, redoing this upper portion here, cause that's a, a separate piece. Everything else could pretty much stay the same. So hopefully we do get all four of them. Blue's the only one that really has carried through all three of the Jurassic World films. So, I mean, and we're getting, well, we got Charlie. So, uh, I, I can't imagine why they would stop with just these two. Hopefully, though, like I said, they go that extra mile and give the mold difference there. Uh, articulation wise, very well articulated. As you can see, the mouth uh, hinges at the upper section of the head and lower, so you can get a very wide open which is perfect uh, if you don't want to have it that wide you can do something like that you can go like that i mean lots of different sort of posing options and when you do something like that kind of makes it look like there's a other joint there that makes the head kind of stick up uh, i mean you you know what i'm saying uh, you do have a, a rotation bit right there it's on a ball joint so you can see that rotates pretty decently but because it is an oval shape it doesn't get a tremendous amount of rotation that comes down here at the base of the neck you get the rotation right there and then again ball joint on there so a lot of articulation you got the pin hinge joints at the shoulder they hinge outward they rotate all the way around the elbows have that same pin hinge sort of thing so it moves forward and back they also do rotate so you can get a nice outward motion same here with the wrists forward and back and a nice rotation. The back legs, you do have a ratchet joint sort of that locks right there, but you can still articulate them kind of any way you want. So this is kind of where the, the let's see, yeah, locks in there and about there. So you can kind of see that, um, well, and then depending on how you want to position these, you can kind of get her standing like that in a kind of aggressive looking pose. Uh, you do have hinges or the little in and out there at the hips, you have a little rotation at the main knee. You got that forward and back. All the joints are basically the same. You got another point of articulation at the lower section and then also the ankle moves forward and back and that also rotates. The large sickle claw here can also flex. Why is that one not going? This one does. This one feels like it's stuck. Why aren't you moving? That's interesting. Don't know why that one's not moving. This one does perfectly fine um does that one not move i don't know here i gotta I'm, I'm curious hang out there for a second blue you just stand right there i'm gonna bring in here's a spoiler yeah charlie's moves forward and back so or no this isn't charlie this is the regular velociraptor i'm gonna bring that in that's weird for some reason this one like refuses to move um it might just be a frozen joint um but it is what it is. That's a little unfortunate, but you do have the sickle that does move. And then the tail at the back section here is on a ball joint, so you can rotate that around. This is a softer rubbery material, and what's nice is they put a wire in there, so you can kind of articulate that and get that kind of in any pose you really want. It feels like the wire is basically, oh, what's that little extra bit here of rubber? Uh, feels like it's about there. And then it goes to about right there. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it because that could damage the tail. But absolutely fantastic. Now, for the uh, comparison, uh, because I already brought her out here and kind of spoiled things, here is the first Velociraptor. Uh, now, again, uh, the only real difference is the paint detail uh, between the two. But you can see uh, that they do look considerably different 
which is which is normal because again they're different uh characters i guess uh, i don't really think that you could use her uh in the velociraptor uh, pack but i mean if you if you wanted to i guess you could uh, i do like how they got the different color for the eyes she's got green whereas blue has the nice gold eyes right there overall though an absolutely terrific figure I was impressed with the first one, and I really hoped that we, we get repaints of that to give us this, and I'm super happy that they did. The only thing that will utterly disappoint me, especially since we have already gotten a Charlie repaint, is if they don't give us Echo and Delta. That would absolutely suck. To me though, if you are a Jurassic Park or even a dinosaur fan, this is a great one to add. The detail is fantastic. The articulation that's in it is outstanding. And for the most part, scales really well with the majority of action figures out there. It, because it's the only one that I have by me. Here's a uh, Marvel Legend figure. This is uh, the Havoc, which is about a uh, six inch figure. So you can see scale wise, works pretty good so if you want to create a display where dinosaurs are attacking your x-men you can do it so all that being said i would absolutely recommend picking her up now initially i know that she was available at places like gamestop i don't know if they're still carrying her but i got mine from big bad toy store she seems to be in stock fairly reliably charlie though goes in and out i feel like charlie might be a hard one to get a hold of so just keep your eyes open, and if you're looking for any of them, I'll make it really easy and put a link right down in the video description where you can go to BBTS and check out availability on her, as well as the rest of the wide range of Jurassic World figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would do one small thing for me, and that's simply just to hit that thumbs up button. That one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who through their continued support now more than ever help to make reviews like this possible. And if you'd like information on how you can help support my channel by becoming a patron, feel free to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash optobotomous. And as always, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.